Another hotel. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. I have the honor and privilege of going around and performing live in hopes of making people laugh. And so I think it's fair to see I've seen a lot of different types of laughs. And usually when I see people laugh, my thoughts are one of two things. Number one, oh my god, yes, they're laughing, I'm so funny. Or number two, oh my god, do I look this stupid when I laugh? You booty hole. But through my experiences, I've realized there is a lot of different types of laughs. Also, someone emailed me and gave me this video idea, and I was like, wicked. For example, the bipolar laugh. Now, this is when someone is really well composed, okay? They're looking at you, normal person, sitting up straight, smiling, and then all of a sudden, they find something funny, and it's as if the hyena from Lion King has possessed their soul. It looks a little something like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what the hell just happened? It's as if you swallowed a jack in the box and now your whole life just. <laughs> I am scared of you. The dying seal laugh. I don't know why I feel like this is a seal. Seal laugh. Now, I don't know what a dying seal sounds like, but if I had to guess, I would guess it sounds a little bit like how a lot of people laugh. Double chin. I'm attractive. You know what I'm talking about. It sounds a little something like... <laughs> like homie. In high school, you were supposed to play the clarinet, not swallow it and then have it leave in your esophagus for eternity. Like, I'm confused, should I be laughing with you or calling an ambulance? Because, like, I'm concerned. I feel like you're gonna be laughing and all of a sudden you're gonna be like, <gasps> bam, and your lung is gonna be in your hand. And as fate would have it, if that happens, I will be the one Indian person who's not a doctor and I won't be able to help you. The mime. So this person laughs and you're just really confused because, like, it looks like they're laughing, it feels like they're laughing, everybody else is laughing, but you can't hear them laughing because they're just like... And usually they're laughing so hard they get stuck in one position, so it's just like... Do laughing or do go on It's like, you know when you pause a YouTube video and it's paused in a very unflattering spot, so like the person in the video is just like... What am I saying? Of course you know that because you always send me pictures of me looking like an idiot. Yeah, it's like you're laughing and you look like that. Except you're not in a video and nothing is paused. You're just buffering in real life, baby. Just like, <laughs> You need to get better Wi-Fi in your body. The set on fire laugh. Oh, my favorite. This is when laughing gets harmful. Okay, you have to be sitting beside someone and they find something funny. And then all of a sudden it's like you're playing a game of patty cake. But you didn't know the game started. Because they're just like, <laughs> Slapping their leg, clapping their hands, hitting themselves all over the place. Like, are you laughing or performing? Stop, just like. Oh, booby pain. And if you still can't visualize, just imagine that someone is on fire, okay? And they're trying to put out the fire very, very slowly. Just like. <laughs> you gonna burn. Also, you look great. I think someone in the hotel is about to complain that I'm too loud. I don't care. The embarrassment. Okay, we all have that friend who we love. I'm saying I love you as a friend. You're a great person. But deep down, I just hope you're never happy so that I never have to hear you laugh because you laugh way too loud at everything all the damn time. This is the person people stare at in the movie theater because they're just like, <laughs> Do you think you're alone? And it's so embarrassing. So you do everything to avoid this situation. You really want to go to the movies and watch Ride Along with Kevin Hart. But instead, you're just like, hey, let's go watch 12 Years a Slave, you know? Because I'd rather see you cry than open your damn mouth. This storytelling laugh. Now this happens to the best of us, AKA the story of my life. Something hilarious happened. I'm saying it was really funny, but you weren't there. So now I'm gonna tell you the story. So basically, I came home and then she's like, She's like, okay, good. I come home, and then she comes home, and she's like, she came <laughs> And then the other person's just getting really annoyed because they don't know what the hell you're laughing at. So you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna tell you, okay? Shh, okay, I promise this time, I'm just gonna tell you. So I come home, and then she's like, she came home, and then she told me the same thing. 
and usually the story's really, really, really stupid. You don't get me. <laughs> you had to be there. You had to be there. Well, I wasn't, so shut the F up. The turtle laugh. Ah, oh, the turtle laugh. This is basically when you're in a room full of people, okay? Something funny happens, someone tells a joke or something, everyone starts laughing, okay? But you don't know what the F is going on because you don't know the person they just talked about. You weren't even listening, but you don't want to look stupid, so what do you do? You laugh. But they want to make sure that they're laughing on par with everyone else, so their laugh looks a little something like, <laughs> <laughs> Am I laughing too much? Too little? What the hell's going on? This is a dangerous situation, my friend, okay? Because now you've made it seem like you know exactly what's going on. Of course you know the person they're talking about. And now you have led it to more conversation where they can ask you, Oh, did you see the time they did this? Or remember when that happened? What you need to do is as soon as this type of joke is told, you need to be like, Oh, hello? Yeah, and get the hell out of there! Lastly, we have the sarcastic laugh, which in fact is not a laugh at all, it is just a huge middle finger. You know what I'm talking about, you go up to someone and you're like, oh my god, girl, you're so cute, and they're like, huh. That, huh, you know what that, huh, means? That, huh, means I freaking hate you. Go F yourself, okay? If you were on fire, I would leave you there, drive to the mall, buy marshmallows, come back, freaking sing campfire songs around you while making some damn s'mores. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, but that's, that's pretty much what it means. I hate when people sarcastic laugh to me, okay? Because I said something nice to you, and I genuinely meant it, and you replied with a huh. You know what that makes me want to do? Makes me want to smack a hoe, okay? And I'm saying smack a hoe so hard that he or she just disappears, okay? Christmas is gonna come around and Santa's gonna be like, ho, ho, Merry Christmas, because one hoe died. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, or if you know someone who laughs like this, click the links in the description to share it. And make sure you click that subscribe button because I do make new videos every Monday and Thursday. And I know that collaboration finale is not out yet, but uh, you know what? We're just gonna ignore that and it's gonna be out soon, okay? One love, Superwoman, that is a wrap. And zoop! I have an obsession with naming things like, uh, my camera's name is Eric. I just made that up right now. He, I don't know, it looks like an Eric. Um, I don't have a tripod, but my tripod at home, his name is Stan. Like a Stan, but without the D. You get it? Because he doesn't have a pee pee.